Hi, just Duncan here. On this video, we're going to have a look at lane discipline. So we're going to look at um, planning a route, uh, see how we're going to change lane, our position in our lanes, um, being aware of what's going on in other lanes. So in a moment, I'm going to put a bit of a drive together where um, I'm going to have to do several lane changes to continue in the direction that I'm going. So lane changing requires some good planning skills. One, being aware of where you need to go before you get to a junction. So we can do that by reading road signs and reading road markings. So generally the rule of thumb is if we're going to the left, it's generally going to be a left-hand lane that we're going to be using. The road ahead will normally also be a left-hand lane unless road signs and road markings are telling you otherwise and the road to the right is then going to be a right-hand lane. Um, I don't want to get over complicated with it, I want to keep this quite simple so it's a good rule of thumb to, to sort of use is um, remembering okay what lane okay you're going to be in for the direction you're going. So things we've got to consider is other road users so if we need to do a lane change, we need to do that lane change quite early on. What we don't want to do is leave it to the last minute. So if we know that we're going to be turning right at a roundabout, we need to think about getting into that right-hand lane nice and early. So normal mirror checks, checking the interior right door mirror, and consider whether you need to give a signal. Now, a signal on lane changing is not always necessarily uh, necessary. Um, if you're not going to affect any other road users, you're not going to cause them any problems at all, you can freely change lane, then generally it's you don't need to give a signal. If, however, you need to ask somebody to maybe ease off and open a gap up, then you want to get a signal on nice and early so people know that you want to be in that lane. Don't just push yourself into a lane, okay? Good mirror work um, and make sure that that driver is letting you in. The last thing you want to do is cause somebody to suddenly hit the brakes and cause a problem. Uh, you find that if you plan it well and you're getting your lane change in nice and early then there shouldn't really be a problem getting into your new lane. Lane changing normally becomes more of an issue when it's left last minute and if for any reason okay that um, you know we can all get into a wrong lane from time to time and it is last minute and it is very very busy then you've got to think about what's safe to do there. It actually might not be safe to get into the lane that you need. So the safest option will probably then be to continue in the lane that you're in, continue in that direction. Um, and then once you've turned down that road, is find a safe way of turning yourself around to go back to where you want to be. So we should never just force ourselves into a lane and we certainly shouldn't leave it last minute causing other road users um, a problem. So as I said, okay, we, when we're dealing with this, we want to be reading our road signs, we want to be reading our road markings, identifying the lane that we want to be in and getting into that lane nice and early. Sometimes it's a good idea to have road numbers, okay? So if you know the road number you want, i.e. the A1077 or something like that, then um, it makes it easier for you to read your road signs and you can start to plan that route ahead in good time. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put a bit of a drive together uh, for about 10 minutes um, where I'm going to need to be in particular lanes, okay, and show you what I'm going to be doing, okay, getting into those lanes nice and early. Now, the unfortunate thing is, okay, with the video, I can't sort of do the drive and show you uh, what's going on in my mirrors and can't show you what's going on at the side and behind me. I'll let you know what's going on at the side and behind me as I'm going along. You're going to get the view um, of the road ahead. Okay, let's see what we can go and see. Okay, so my route's going to go on to a bit of dual carriageway. Um, going to get a couple of roundabouts. So I'll talk you through it as we, as we go along. All right, so I'm just in a lay-by at the moment, so I'm gonna be pulling out of the lay-by, and then I'm coming to a roundabout where I'm gonna be turning left, okay, the first exit at that roundabout. Mm -hmm. 
So looking at the road sign I've got on the left here, I'm turning left for the Humber Bridge. Um, so I know that's obviously first exit. And as I come up to the roundabout, I'm just keeping a nice left position. It's nice and clear for me to enter the roundabout, which this is taking me onto a slip road down onto a dual carriageway. So when I slip onto this dual carriageway, I'll be slipping onto um, the left-hand lane and I'll be staying in the left-hand lane until I kind of get acquainted to what's going on and decide, okay, whether I need to do any overtaking or anything like that. So the dual carriageway is looking nice and clear, checking my mirrors, giving a signal, a couple of cars behind me, but I can slip on without any problems. regular checks on the mirrors so again we know what's going on in the lanes okay so in this case I've got the lane to the right of me I want to know what's going on in that right hand lane okay all the time even though at this moment in time I've got no intention of being in the right hand lane anything could crop up at any time where I might need to change lane so I don't want to be suddenly surprised I know what's going on behind I know what's going on in that right hand lane so if I need to take that lane change, I know whether I can do that safely or not. Now as I get over the bridge here, okay, I'm actually going to be following the lane for the tag, the tag lane. sign coming up on the left, a blue sign, and it's showing us lanes, okay, on there. The left-hand lane is saying for any vehicle, the right-hand lane is saying tag or motorcycle. So I want to be in that right-hand lane, so I'm checking my mirrors. There's no reason for me to give a signal, so I'm just slipping myself over into that right-hand lane in good time. And again, you can see the signs and the road markings all clearly identifying okay where you need to be for the lanes now when i get through the tag lane through the and that is i'm actually going to be following the road signs for the 1105 the a1105 um, so the road signs here are showing me that uh the the lane on the left is merging back in, so I need to be keeping an eye on the traffic on the left-hand lane, seeing what's merging in, making sure that nobody's going to suddenly come in. Now, the road signs here are telling me I want the right-hand lane for the 1105, so I want to stay in this lane, and I'm going to be turning right at the roundabout. So, mirror signal right. So, again, some really good road markings here, good road signs, nice and clear following the 1105. Coming up to the roundabout, got a little bit of traffic. Looking across the roundabout, I can see there's two lanes on the roundabout, and again, it's still the right-hand lane for the 1105. And then the lane's splitting into two again here, and it's the left-hand lane for the 1105. So I'm keeping myself to the left on the roundabout now mirror signal to leave so I'm actually coming off in this left hand lane 
So a bit of a strange roundabout that one, okay? Obviously it makes you change position, okay, on the roundabout. Not all roundabouts do that, but obviously that's again where it's really important to look at your lanes, look at your road markings, so you know where you need to be to follow, okay, the direction that you're wanting to take. So I'm on dual carriageway again. Okay, I'm keeping an eye on that right-hand lane. Traffic control junction coming up here, which is splitting into three lanes. Left-hand lane for left turn and road ahead. Middle lane for the road ahead, and then the right-hand lane is for traffic turning to the right. There is an island, okay, dividing the right lane for the road ahead. So, chance of that traffic in that right-hand lane taking a wrong direction is unlikely. But we need to be keeping aware of what's happening and what traffic is coming down this right-hand lane. So again, as I'm waiting here for the lights to change, keeping a good eye on my mirrors, keeping a good eye on the junction ahead of me, so when the lights change, I know exactly what's going on and I know it's clear and safe to go. Position in the lane, okay, should be a nice central position. And you can see I've also got a cycle lane on the left of me here. So again, I don't wanna be going into that. I'm keeping it nicely in the middle of my lane. So again, cyclists are free to use okay the cycle lane without a problem got a car coming on the left the junction and i can see i got a car coming down in my right hand lane now i got a van here so i'm just checking my mirrors slowing it down a little bit passing okay so again no problems there there was plenty of room there's more park vehicles on the left but they're on the grass verge so it's not actually causing a problem Some cyclists down in the cycle lane ahead of me. Shouldn't cause me a problem, but I'll be keeping an eye on them. And I'm gonna be full, I'm following the road ahead here. So, road markings are telling me to use the right-hand lane, checking my mirrors. I'm gonna give a signal on this occasion, because again, I've got room to get in, but I've got a car in the right-hand lane behind me, and I just want to tell him that I am coming over and then quickly cancelling the signal once I'm in my lane. So this is one of the rare occasions, okay, where road markings are telling us to use the right-hand lane to continue following the road ahead. Okay, it's nice and clear for me to go. Onto my new road, okay, it's a single lane. So what we've got on this road is, to the left of it, we've got a cycle lane. And then, to the left of the cycle lane, we've got an area for cars to park. So this at the moment, okay, is just a single lane carriageway. Although it looks like a dual carriageway, it is just a single lane carriageway. Okay, so I can see ahead that the, the road's opening up to dual carriageway. I'm checking my mirrors and I'm moving myself over into the left-hand lane. So again, we want to move ourselves back into the left-hand lane as soon as it reopens. So we're not giving traffic a chance to come down and pass us on the left-hand side. We should be making it so where vehicles are passing us on our right. So the only reason why I'd stay in the right-hand lane is because again, I had slow moving traffic or I was intending to turn right. Other than that, I'm coming back into that left-hand lane as I've done. So another junction here. And 
and the road is splitting into three lanes. So we've got left-hand lane for left and ahead, middle lane for road ahead, and right-hand lane um, for turning right. Okay, well a roundabout coming up from the sign on the on the right. And I'm gonna be taking the second exit at that roundabout for city center. So that, that exit was to the left, so that's going to be left-hand lane on approach and keeping it to the left on the roundabout. lane and then checking my mirrors okay coming over into the right hand lane because again you can see the road markings are showing that it was coming back to a single lane carriageway so again that's having that awareness okay all the time knowing what's on the right hand side okay even though I've checked my mirrors okay I knew it was clear I knew that I wasn't going to have any problems okay with that lane change Coming up to another junction again, I can see lots of road markings. Okay, on this occasion, okay, it's left-hand lane for the road to, left. to the left. We've got a cycle lane, middle lane for the road ahead, and the right-hand lane for turning right. So again, I'm just following the road ahead. So I know, okay, now to the left of me, I have a cycle lane, and I have a lane that's turning left. And to the right of me, I have a, a lane turning to the right. I need to know what's going on, okay, in these lanes to either side of me. I want to make sure that no traffic in that left-hand lane is going to be taking the road ahead at this junction by mistake. All right. The right-hand lane is unlikely that's going to happen because obviously you've got uh, the central uh, reservation, okay, directly ahead of that lane. So they would have to cut dramatically across to get over to take the road ahead here. But we shouldn't discount it. All right. So lights are changing. There's nothing either side of me in these lanes, it's all in front of me. So I know that I'm okay crossing on through the junction following the road ahead. But again, I made sure that I was aware of where those other lanes were going and making sure, okay, that if there is traffic in them, I knew what that traffic was doing. Okay, so I've got a roundabout coming up here. I'm following the road ahead. Road signs are showing right-hand lane for road ahead. Left lane is for left, um, and road ahead for buses only. So we can see the road markings following the road ahead. Okay, so coming down this road, okay, what we have is two lanes, and the left-hand lane is a bus lane. Now, We've got all these blue signs running down here, okay, telling us about this bus lane, and it's telling us that the bus lane is in operation between Monday and Saturday from 7 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. So it's gone midday now, so again, the bus lane isn't in operation, so it acts as a normal lane. So I'm gonna use it as one, okay? You can see that I'm in it. I've got a bus ahead of me pulled up, so I'm gonna check my mirrors and I'm gonna pull it out into the right-hand lane to pass the bus, no signal needed. Okay, bus is moving off, but he's moving off quite slowly, so I've got no problem. And I'm gonna check my mirrors, and 
I'm going to move myself back in to the left-hand lane. No signal needed. And also what I want to make sure that I'm not doing okay is giving unnecessary signals when I'm changing lane, particularly where I've got lots of junctions around, because what I don't want to do is mislead and let somebody think that I'm turning left or right down to a side road. Okay. So I'm going to take the next road on the left. Okay, so quite a lot was going on there. I couldn't talk to you about everything, but again, you saw, okay, that uh, I had um, a horse and cart in the road. So, <clears throat> you know, my awareness there, I knew it was clear. I was able to safely move around the horse and cart. But you can see all the time, okay, once I passed any potential problems that I had in the left-hand lane, like the bus, the horse and cart, and things like that, as soon as the left-hand lane was clear again, I'm checking my mirrors and I'm going straight back into that left-hand lane. I'm not sitting out and staying out in the right-hand lane. see down here okay we've got areas for traffic to turn right so if we were turning right down to these roads we should be entering into that center area where it's marked out for the right turn and what that is going to do is it's going to allow traffic that's continuing taking the road ahead to have the room to safely pass so if you're needing to wait or traffic is needing to wait for the right turn then not preventing traffic continuing following the road ahead so road signs here are telling me that I'm going left. I'm going to be going left here and then I'm going to be doing a U-turn. So with that, because I'm going to be doing a U-turn, I want to be turning left, but I want to put myself directly into the right-hand lane. So I can, I'm in position to use okay, the intersection to carry out my U-turn. So I'm watching both lanes, crossing onto out, and then directly into that right-hand lane check my mirrors so again I'll give a signal right so I can then go into the intersection to do a u-turn so remember when coming into the intersections we should be coming into them on the left hand side and again I'm turning onto dual carriageway so again what I'm doing is I'm intending to come out and go directly into the left hand lane see there turning out and I've turned out directly into the left hand lane so it's a very important okay that when we're turning um, out of junctions and things like that we know okay whether there's lanes there and we know what lane we're going to be turning into I'm taking the next left so I now need to be moving into this left hand lane for my left turn find passing this bus just checking around it okay so hopefully that's kind of giving you some ideas okay on you know how we use lanes and how we're reading um, road signs and road markings to plan ahead what lane we're going to be in